Thank you for joining me today. There's another few seconds for people to join us. Um, I'm just going to start seated today. So, uh, again, uh, welcome. Hi. <laughs> welcome. Um, I'm B. Teach Pilates. And uh, today we're going to start seated. So just find a comfortable spot on your mat in a little butterfly position. So feet are pressing together. I'm grabbing onto my ankles to start. From your inhale, just lift up into the chest. Exhale, draw the belly in and just round back. Tuck your butt under you and almost feel like you're hanging onto your legs to get a good stretch between your shoulder blades. Inhale. Lifting up, opening up through the chest. Kind of think of cat cows here. And then exhale, round back, release through the back, the pelvis. Feel like you're just falling backwards and holding on. And then inhale, pulling yourself up. Big inhale, open up through the collarbones. One more time, rounding back. Push the feet into each other. Press open the thighs and lifting right back up. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and take hands out to the sides. Stay in a nice lift. Lean over to the right, big reach up. And then switch sides. Big reach up. And all the way back. Again, lean over, just find that nice stretch through the whole side body, and back. One more over and back. So grabbing onto the ankles once again, lift up through the chest, bend the elbows, hold the chest forward, drop down, now tuck and round to come up and lift. Again, bend the elbows, reach the chest into a flat back, now round all the way up. Again, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale forward, exhale back. So opposite direction, round and dive down. Pull the chest forward and a big lift. Again, round. And inhale, big, big lift, open up. Again, round, scoop the tummy in. Inhale, lift up one last time, round. And all the way back up. All right, so coming around to your side, knowing I have the knees bent and feet just planted onto the mat, we're just gonna make our way down onto the floor, or onto your mat, hands back behind the head. Find that lift into your spine again. Draw the belly away from your thighs, just as you were doing, and slowly slide down. My hands are sliding down my legs to come all the way down. Walk the feet in and then just have your arms just pressed outside of your mat just a little bit really reach out and feel the back of the arms feel connected to the ground exhale right leg comes to tabletop pull the abs in left follow squeeze the legs tight flex your ankles so shins are parallel to the floor inhale legs fall to the right as you push into the mat with your left arm and left shoulder and squeeze the legs then exhale, your waist pulls you back. Inhale, legs fall to the left, really anchor down through the right arm hold. Exhale, back. So feel like your legs are this extra weight and they're falling to one side. And what's gonna bring them back? Your belly, so you gotta really pull the abs in. Keep the legs connected as if you made one leg. Over to the left, hold. Exhale, right back. Adding to this, stretch the arms, push them down. Both arms up and now stay here. Exhale, extend the legs, stretch them up long. Squeeze the back of your legs to bend. So move slowly, then exhale. So moving with our breath, inhale over. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend, squeeze the legs tight. Exhale, the waist pulls you back. One more time, right. Exhale, push the legs. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, last time, over left hold. 
exhale. Inhale, slower on the bend, back through the center, lower the feet back down. Let the feet just rest about hip bone distance. Arms are down. So I want you to think of that you're going to go up into a full bridge, but we're not going up very high. Let's take it out of the glutes for what we're going to practice and just move the pelvis. If you want to put your hands on your pelvis first just to get the sensation, you're going to pull your abs in so much that your back flattens, your pelvis tilts. Then inhale, find neutral. So you can keep your hands on your hips if you want. Exhale. Draw the belly and back, back flattens out. The pubic bone may lift a little. Now keep that scoop in the abs and let the pelvis float back. Exhale again. Draw the abs. Get the scoop. And back. Try not to squeeze your butt. If you want the arms down, continue on. Maybe we lift just a little bit more. But again, don't let the legs take over. Make it in the belly. Now keep the abs in as you go down. So learning how to find those deep transverse abdominis muscles by getting that scoop, making the abs dictate the pelvic movement and that. Because so much what we do is this curling, but I want it from our abs. So we can put your hands there. Feel that your abs are pulling away from your hand to flatten and scoop. Don't let your butt do anything. Come back. Now when you come back, don't push your tummy out. Keep that scooped position to find neutral. So now that we have our neutral pelvis, keep that scooped sensation without actually flattening the back. If you need to find it by flattening the back, go for it. And then keep it in and find neutral. From here, arms are coming up. Exhale, push the arms down and curl up, finding a nice chest lift. Again, neutral pelvis hip bones, pubic bone, all even, and then slowly back down. So now I'm not letting my belly tuck my pelvis. I'm having my belly engage to pull me up and right back down. One more, exhale up, hold here. Interlace the fingers behind the neck, cradle the neck. Let your arms support the weight of your head. Inhale, we lay back with control. Exhale, abs lift. Inhale down, exhale through the mouth, almost like you're fogging a mirror with your breath. Exhale, that's what's pulling you up. Exhale, obviously the rectus abdominis, the ribs are engaged too, but let's try to fire up those deeper muscles to help keep our pelvis in one position. And also to learn into how to tap into those. Pull up from your pelvic floor too. Bathroom muscles, if you're not familiar. Exhale, or kegels. One more, hold here. From here, stay in the lift if you can, and give me a little rotation right, and then slight down middle, and then up to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left, and slow. Up to the right, taking your time, just warming up through the belly, making sure the back, the low back is relaxed, the hip flexors aren't gripping. Couple more, up and over. And again, hold center, reach your arms longer, really reach through the fingertips. Crunch up more, push the arms down, Lay all the way down. Give the neck a little break. Let your head move side to side if you start to get a little necky here. Separate the feet and let's let the legs just move side to side a little bit. Getting a nice opening through the hips. All right. So bringing it on back. Bring the feet back just onto the floor. We're gonna go into a little progression. If you need to keep the feet down, or maybe go to the next progression and not the next, go for it. So we're just gonna start slow. Exhale, pull the head and shoulders up by reaching the arms, find your neutral, you have a great view, and then lower down. This time right leg comes to tabletop, and then lower down. Left leg, you can always do this, with the head down. So we can go right leg, 
and down. Abs pull down for left, just focusing on where you're moving from. Again, right and down. One more and left. This time, right leg comes up and stays up. Keep it there as you lay down. Now the left leg comes to me. And then back down. Now we're in the tabletop. Exhale, reach. And back. I'm going to add extension right leg out. And back. Again, head can stay down. Left leg out if you need to. Always listen to your body. Exhale, right. And back. And left. I'm going to add my head and shoulders again. All right. And back. And left. Adding on if you're feeling good, both legs now. Exhale, reach. And bend them in. Head can stay down too. A little harder actually with the head down to stabilize. So you have to really think about pulling your abs down to protect your back. Squeeze your legs. Head, shoulders if you want. Keep going. Two more. On the next one, can you hold? wherever feels great for you, but it's challenging for you, and start pumping the arms. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze your legs. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Hold. Bend the knees. Lower down. Give the knees a hug. You can curl your butt up. Draw circles around. Making sure backs are feeling really good. And just massage it out. All right. From here, stretch the legs out nice and long. Give them a little shake here. Some length. Reach the arms up. Inhale, lift head and shoulders. Exhale, using the abs to come up. Coming all the way up nice and tall. I'm gonna go ahead and come right back down again. Exhale, draw the abs back. Again, just like when we were on our back, the belly is pulling your pelvis underneath to roll you back one bone at a time. All the way down. Give your arms a reach. Stretch your arms and legs. Give that big, big stretch and reach. And then go ahead and bring everything back. Bend the knees back in. Adding on. All right, starting out slow, building on once again. Exhale, right leg comes up. Hold it here. Just going to toe tap it up and down for three. And two, head shoulders up anytime you want. One, replace, left leg, exhale, one. Just feeling the differences between the sides. Three, this time right leg comes up, hold. Left leg comes up, keeping my neutral without arching my back. Feel connected. Lower right, exhale up. Lower left and up. Head can be up if you want and support your neck if you feel like you need that extra flexion. Or just stay here and focus on grounding yourself using your belly. Right goes down, hold, and we switch at the same time. Exhale, switch, switch. Sink the abs in. Watch that you're not kicking the feet up. The other leg goes right back to a tabletop every time. If you want, lift head and shoulders, support your head, and exhale. Switch, switch, five, four, three, two, hold right here. I'm going to add a twist. Twist to the right, one, to the left, two, to the right, three, twist left, four, five, alternating, six, you can still have head down, seven, and just do the legs. Eight, make sure you're rotating from the ribs, not your head. One more. Come back to center, hold here, crunch higher, squeeze the legs, lower both feet down, exhale up. 
Again, head can be down. Watch your back doesn't arch. Find what works best for you. Just squeeze the legs or hands back. Tight, tight legs. Wrap from your hips and butt to support you. Inhale down, exhale up. We have three, two, one. Lower the feet, lower the head. Stretch the legs out onto the mat. Arms up, inhale, lift, exhale, using your abs and stretching forward. This time, give yourself a nice stretch. You can flex the feet, grab them where you can, and just breathe into it. Finding that nice back stretch, hamstring stretch, all that good stuff right here. All right, coming on up. Have a little scoop forward. Make sure you have enough space behind you. We're going to practice a little rolling like a ball, getting our back moving once again, okay? So I'm gonna bring my feet together and open the knees just a little bit and grab my ankles. So the inside of my elbow, I'm putting about in my knee or so. I'm trying to find that connection, right? Squeeze in, shoulders are down. Now I have to walk my feet back a little bit so I can find my balance point. It is that tiny little tuck, right? You, don't, you won't be balancing on your sits bones. It's back on your tailbone a little bit. Squeeze everything together, nod your head. Roll back to just your shoulders, not your head, and exhale back. Find the balance. My focal point are my feet. So I'm looking at my feet the whole time. So I'm staying, whoop, uh, trying to balance as even as possible. So I'm not kicking my feet all over the place or throwing my head. We're trying to maintain this complete little ball shape the whole time. And that's what's difficult about this exercise. Inhale as you go back. Exhale. All right, gravity is pulling you back. Exhale, belly pulls you up. Last three. Two. And one. Hold right here. Find your balance. Shoulders are down. Scoop your tummy. Now you can stay right here and just focus on balance or extend the right leg out. Bring it back. So it's prepping us for something later called open leg rocker, which is a little harder because then our levers become a little longer. Right? So once your levers come away, when I say levers, <laughs> meaning uh, your limbs, right? Your legs, your arms. When your levers move away from your center of gravity, things get a little harder. One more time. Find that big stretch, do what you can, and then go ahead, lower the feet down. Slide on back, extend the legs out about the width of your mat or so. If you need to prop yourself up because you can't sit up tall, maybe your hammies are too tight or it bothers your back, fold your mat up several times and sit up on it or grab a blanket or something you can prop up a little bit higher. If you don't have anything, bend the knees just like this and see if you can sit tall. Just make sure the legs are even. If not, try to extend so we can get some extra stretch in the hamstrings for this too. Arms are out in front of you. So if you were sitting right against a wall, the back of your head, your entire back would be against that wall, except maybe that little space in your neck maybe low back depending how your curvature is. From here, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna roll off of that wall. So nod the head, scoop the tummy in, right? Like you're pulling the belly button under your ribs as you slowly go forward, only as far as your butt doesn't leave the ground. And then lower back up. So I'm trying not to feel like I'm flipping my tailbone backwards, trying to scoop the tummy to pull me down and roll off that imaginary wall. Keep the hips down, exhale, coming up. Obviously, I'm feeling a stretch in my hamstrings too, but I'm trying to find that mobilization in my back and then making my belly dictate that movement. It warms up the muscles in the back, so we should be feeling those working a little bit because they have to. The front and back work together. One more time. Abs pull in as we go down and forward. 
and then slowly back up. Now holding right here, shoulders down, squeeze the whole underside of your arms, active arms. Find your hinge point. So lean as far forward as your back stays straight and your chin doesn't jet up, everything stays in a long line. Find it, how far can you go before you want to start to round? Feel a big stretch. I feel my hamstrings getting a big stretch. I feel my back muscles kicking in, but I wanna keep my chest open and not collapse just to reach more forward. Come right back up. So we mark that in our head, because we're gonna add an extension in a second. Roll down off the wall and forward. Inhale, find that extension. Flex your feet, pull your shoulders back. Draw the belly in as we go forward and roll all the way up. Inhale here, exhale, pull the abs in as we go down and forward. Inhale, find that extension. Think of lifting from your sternum and now scoop the tummy, that folds you forward and roll back up. So you should be feeling your back muscles working big time now. Exhale, draw the abs in as we go down. Now what's gonna lift me up? Pull the chest forward and up. Really lengthen it out. Takes a lot of muscles in your back to do that. Roll back down with control. And I'm trying not to let my arms touch the floor. They might graze the ground a little. Exhale, go forward. But I really don't wanna rest up on the ground. Find your extension. Now can we stay in our extension here for a moment? If it's too much for you, come up a little bit. All right, but find where you feel the muscles kick in your back. Pull up in the belly, find the length, and you flex your feet and get a bigger stretch. Open the arms out and close them in. Again, how long can you get in that hinge? Feel your back working. Feel your abs supporting you by pulling in your waist. Almost feel like you could lengthen even more. Maybe you hinge even more forward. Open the arms, shoulders are down, and pulse the arms back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the arms forward, round back. Roll all the way back up. Release everything, shake it out. It's a lot of back work, so yes, you will be feeling those muscles that go all along your spine if you're doing it properly, all right? Okay, shake it out for a second. Bring the legs back together. As we roll down this time, we're gonna try to bring the right leg up with us, but you're gonna find a point as you roll down that it just naturally floats up. Usually I have to get just about my low back down and then it comes up and then you lay down. Grab behind the leg, let's just get a quickie stretch here. You can keep the left leg straight, or if you need to bend the knee and put the foot down, go for it. And just flex and point the ankle a couple times. Finding a stretch. Either hold your thigh, or if you're more flexible, hold on to the calf. Again, whatever feels best. Now, watch this right hip dip pull up towards your armpit. Elongate that hip so our hips are even, so we get the maximum stretch. Okay. Our body loves to go in a position where it's not the part we actually need to stretch. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to point my foot. I'm going to anchor down the left leg. You can look at it. Make sure it's lined up with your hip and flex that foot. If this is too difficult, please bend the knee. From here, draw the abs in. Elongate. Pull the muscles in the quad and the inner thigh. Arms go down. From here, a leg circle. So inhale, let the leg fall over to the left, hip is still down, circle it around. So I'm just drawing a big circle around. Only go as big as nothing else is moving in your pelvis. So if this is too much, make it a little smaller. Find that control from your pelvis all through your abs. You can put your hands on your pelvis if you want to. And find that nice length in the leg. Reverse, open, down and around. Almost like you're reaching the leg out of the hip socket. Try to stretch it away. Inhale, then exhale it around. Two more, really ground into the 
uh, floor with your left leg and squeeze the inner thighs. And here, let's grab that leg again. One more stretch and flex and point. Find that stretch first. Now here, I'm gonna keep my foot pointed right now. Arms are going up. Slowly lower the leg down to the mat. Once it comes to about a hover, lift your head and shoulders. As that leg gets to the mat, roll all the way up slowly and forward. Coming right back up. As we roll down, the left leg's going to come up so we can do the other side. Draw belly back. Again, finding that point where the leg just starts to come up. Grab it. Can either anchor down the right leg or bend the knee if that's better for your body. From your flex and point. Get that stretch. Where does your body need it? Does it need it more in the calf? Does it need it more in the hamstring, the glute? And then let's go ahead, point the foot. I have my right leg flex and anchoring the thigh down. Hips are even. Big exhale and long leg. I'm trying to engage my thighs. Arms down. Here we go. Inhale across to the right. Exhale, circle around. Really push the right leg down. Inhale, exhale it around. Cross over and exhale. Inhale and around. Again, over and an exhale. Last three. Squeeze the inner thighs. Two, anchor your right leg down hard. And one, reverse. Inhale over. Don't let your pelvis move. Circle. Again, make it smaller. Right? I can make this smaller circle. Maybe I have more control. Right? Then the bigger one. I just think the bigger one kind of feels good. But... You do what best for you one more time and grab back on. Again, flex the foot, find that nice stretch. Elongate through that side. From your point your foot, point both feet, arms come up, the leg starts to go down. Lift your head and shoulders. Start to roll up as the leg goes down, scooping the abs in and give yourself that nice stretch once again, so hopefully we got a little bit more length out of us here. All right, coming on up. Start with the knees bent a little bit. Grab back behind, or kind of like on your shins right below your knee. That's where I'm gonna hold on, so not super low right now. Chest is up. I'm gonna start to roll back as much as I can without my feet coming up yet, but then I get to a point, oh, they have to come up. So I'm gonna try this, go slow, 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 slow and bring them up until my legs are in a tabletop. Head and shoulders are lifted if you can, anchor tailbone down. Let's find that deep belly that we were practicing earlier without tucking. From your inhale, extend both legs out and press your hands into your thighs. And then exhale back. Inhale out, exhale back. Now the breath is backward, so it's weird. Inhale, exhale. Head can go down. Inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna add more arms. Arms reach back, inhale. Exhale, grab back on. Inhale, exhale. Inhale back, exhale. Adding on, inhale, reach, hold. Circle the arms as you grab. Inhale, exhale. Head down if you want, inhale. Exhale, continue doing our arms and legs with our head down. You really have to work a little harder to do with the head down, actually. Inhale, and it's okay to work this way. One more time, inhale. Exhale it around. From here, curl up if you can. Start to rock up and down. This time it's okay if you use a little momentum until we're all the way up. Open the knees and find a nice little stretch right here. All right, sometimes it's fun just to roll up and down. <laughs> okay, coming back. Here we go, we're going back down. I'm gonna go back down that same way. Lift the chest, pull the belly back. Get to a point and start to slide right on back. In my High lift, anchor the tailbone, squeeze the thighs. 
From here, extend the left leg out, both hands on top of the right leg. Suck the tummy in, squeeze your bottom, drag that leg in. We're going slow first. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, drag it in. So single leg stretch, trying to touch across the room. Active arms. So I'm pushing my knee into my hands to get my biceps, my armpits, my ribs, all that active. Make them work. Right? It takes it out of the neck. When you get those shoulder girdle muscles fired up, your neck feels a little bit more free. Now a little quicker. We're going to go left, switch, right. A little bit more work now. You can always go hands behind the head to support the neck, but it does make the exercise harder too. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Inhale. And in. And take a little break. Shake the head out. It was getting a little necky, right? And then go ahead and roll a little side to side. So coming up in the opposite direction, still holding on to my knees. Push your legs into your hands to get the arms solid. Push your tail down. Now without changing the lower half, exhale, bend the elbows to lift back up and find that position. Shins parallel to the floor, anchor the tailbone once again. Hands back behind the head. Left leg goes out as you twist to the right. Slow, inhale, center. Right leg up, twist left. Inhale, center. Again, we rotate around, trying to stay off the shoulders. We're going slow. I know slow is hard. Our body wants to move. Slow and controlled, mindful as we move. I'll let you go fast in a second. So a little quicker, right, still control left. Right, find it, and right. Exhale when you rotate, inhale, and exhale. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. One more set. Last one, and hug it on in a moment. Let's set the feet down for a moment. Bring your feet kind of wide. Have the feet parallel. You'll almost feel a little pigeon toe. Bring the arms back in a bowl pose position. Big breath, open up through the chest here. Now let's let both knees fall to the right. So left hip goes down, or I'm sorry, right hip goes down, left hip is lifting up and breathe into it. Pull your abs in to bring the legs up first. Let them fall to the left. Getting that nice stretch through the right side. Just breathe into it. Big breath. Relax the neck. And then again, abs pull in to assist the legs up. One more time to the right. Just getting that nice opening. And then back and over to the left. Bringing the legs back up, feet together first. Stretch the legs out onto the mat once again. Arms up, going into our roll up again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, using the belly. And coming up. And let's go into a stretch again. All right, so we're coming on up. Staying seat, uh, seated up with the legs out once again. So again, if you need to prop yourself up, Go for it. So making sure you're not gonna hit anything around you. We're gonna have the arms out, like a, a T more or less, and push down from the palms. As you push down, find a lift through the crown of your head using your belly. What happens a lot of times in this position, our quads start to grab big time. So what helps me is I don't start pitching a little forward on my sits bones so much. I kind of sit back just a hair, but I'm not rolling back. I just feel a little settled right on my cheeks there. And then arms out. Then a lot of times it doesn't grip through my hips so much, but if it does for you, bend the knees a little bit and usually that helps. Okay, from here, 
Exhale, using the waist to twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotate to the left. Trying to keep the arms the same distance no matter where the torso goes. Exhale, twist. And back. Abs are in to twist. Exhale to the left. One more time. To the right. One more to the left. Hold here. Reach your arms on palms, face forward. This time going into our saw. Twist to the right. Now reach to the outside of the leg. Right palm goes back as you lengthen down. Find the stretch. Use your abs to lift you. Palms forward as you come to center. Watching our hips don't shift. Twist left. Reach to the outside of the leg. Abs pull in to lift you up tall. Back through the middle. Exhale, twist. Reach. So hopefully now you're getting a little bit more of a stretch in your hamstrings and your calves and through your back. So when we do these seated positions, you feel better, right? Sitting tall with our legs out is pretty hard to do for a lot of us, right? It's not an easy position to hold. And use your abs to lift back to center. Exhale, and reach, and up, and center. Release the arms, bring the legs together. Again, squeeze the legs tight. If you need to sit up again on something or bend the knees, do so. Hands back behind the head. Squeeze your inner thighs. Pull up through the belly as if you could pull your belly button under your rib cage, lifting you up. Exhale, twist to the right. Don't let the legs move. And twist a little further. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Now a little more. Inhale, center. Your breath is helping the twist a little more. Can you get all that exhale out? Exhale. Now you got more exhale. Get it all out. Exhale, twist. All the rest of your breath. Back to center. Exhale, twist. A little more. Squeeze. Again, exhale, twist. A little more. Try to push the back of the thighs into the mat. Twist. Twist. Now, we're going to twist to the right. Hold. Take the left elbow and hinge down right between the legs. Come right back up, back to center. Exhale, twist left. Take the right elbow, hinge, and all the way up. Try to stay tall. You're not rounding. So I'm not rounding down, I'm trying to reach, reach, reach towards my shin, back to center. Exhale, twist. You don't have to touch it. As far as your body goes, you'll notice one side is more cooperative than the other, right? Okay. Reach and lift. And one more time. Twist, reach, lift, center, shake it on out. Ooh, let's get some blood in these legs. So bend the knees, especially if your hips are talking to you a little bit. Grab on, because I know they do. Does with me. Go ahead and stretch forward. All part of the process, right? Okay, so we're going back down. Here we go. Legs out. Arms out. Draw the abs in and make the belly dictate that movement to pull you down one little bone at a time all the way down. Let's take the arms down, bend your knees in. We're going to move into a corkscrew, and then I'm going to move into more of the, the intermediate or progression of the corkscrew, and it, it does um, require a rolling over. So if you have anything with your neck, please don't do the rollover part. So I'm going to start with the first corkscrew. One leg up, other leg up. You can always pad under your bottom if you need to. Inhale, legs fall to the right. I'm looking at my feet. They're staying the same length. Lower the legs down on the exhale, circle all the way to the left. Right hip is up now, back to center. So think of this as a half circle. Inhale to the left. Exhale, lower the legs down and up into the middle. Now to the right again, hold. Exhale, down and earth. 
and back to center. Inhale over, exhale down and around, and center. Okay, I'll hug them in for a second. Stick with that version. If anything with your back or neck and you can't roll over, okay? Anytime you roll over two, we are not putting pressure on the neck. We're staying on our shoulders. Extend the legs back up. I'll guide you through this one, arms down. Inhale to the right like you just did. Exhale, lower down, but now bring the legs through the middle and lift the hips up. Now, rotate the hips to the left and the feet go to the right. Start to roll down the right side of your spine. The legs go down. They circle back through the middle and up. Rotate hips to the right, feet to the left. Roll down the left side. Legs go down. Circle back through the center up. Rotate hips left, feet right. Lower down. Feet go down. They circle back around. Rotate hips. They lower down. And around back through center. One more time. Rotate hips. Let them go down. And back through the center. Hold the center. And slowly roll down one ball at a time. Hug your knees into your chest a moment. So that should have felt actually really good on your back with those rotations, right? Because you're getting a bit of a stretch on one side every time. So it's really a fun little thing. All right. Legs back out, back out. Here we go, getting into our roll up again. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. By the time we're done, we've done, you know, 10 roll ups. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and bend the knees. If you have anything with your wrist, you can always go on to your fist too. We're gonna to first do a shoulder opener for this exercise called back support. So. Hand, I'm first going to start with my hands out to the sides a little and find a lift. Find where you can open up your chest and engage the back of your body. Walk the feet a little forward. You don't want your feet too close to you because we're going to lift the hips up. Exhale, push down through the feet and lift the hips up like you become a table, right? So someone can set something right on your thighs and pelvis and ribs and then slowly lower down. But what I want you to be mindful of that your feet are under your knees, right? You should be able to push through your toes as you lift up, okay? Your whole foot is pressed down. If your feet are too far back, then you can't keep your toes down. And it's real important in this to really press down our toes. Lift the chest, draw the abs in, lift up, open up the chest, engage the whole backside. So it's working the back of the legs, your bottom, your back, open the shoulders and lower down. And obviously, working our arms too. Adding on to this, you can stay here or lift up and hold. Once you're here, just tiny hips up, one. Push the feet down, two. Really feel like your feet are pushing through the floor and you're squeezing your butt to lift. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down for a moment. Take a little wrist break if it was bugging you. Again, you can always go onto your fist if it does bother your wrist, because we are adding on to this. I'm gonna bring my feet a little closer together. I feel more stable that way. Your choice. From here, taking my arms in the same position, lifting up through the chest. Exhale, lifting the hips up once again. Without letting my hips drop, I gotta squeeze my butt big time. Right leg comes up and down. Now the left. Up. If you don't want to alternate the legs, keep the feet down and just practice your hold. Using the back of the legs to keep our hips lifted. Right? This is a lot of openings, but a lot of back body engagement. Right? Our back body gets a little neglected. One more time. Right. Left. Hold, lower down. Extend the legs for a second. Give your hammies a little stretch, right? Because it is quite a bit back of the legs like to work a whole lot. <laughs> All right, so from here, we're gonna go on the opposite of that, which is called front support. 
which is a plank essentially. So coming on around. For this one, again, if the wrists are getting crampy through that last one, come on to your forearms. I'm gonna come down, spread the fingers apart, pull up in the belly, step out one leg at a time. Holding right here, pull up into the belly. So to go ahead and lift right leg, point and flex, replace. Left leg up, point, flex, replace. Right leg up, point, flex, replace. Left leg up, point, flex, replace. Right leg up, point, flex, replace. Left leg up, point, flex. One more set, right leg, point, flex, replace. Left leg, point, flex, replace. Knees down, child's pose. Big stretch back. Round it on up. Give the wrist a little stretch if you need to. However feels good for your body right now. All right, come on back around. Actually, we're gonna go on our tummy while we're here. While we're here, come on down onto your tummy and onto your forearms. They're not laying completely flat. I'm gonna come down. So we have the arms where your elbows are right under your shoulders and press down through the palms, okay? Now be mindful not to sink into it. Push down into the floor, tuck your tail. So right now, just the tip of my pubic, pubic bone is touching the mat. My thighs are touching the mat too, the upper thighs, and I'm trying to push down into the tops of my feet so my knees actually lift, and I feel an activation in the back of the legs and in the belly. So this position is not a rest at all really pressing down into the mat, activating my back underneath my armpits, mid-back. Belly is sucked up in there, okay? Glutes are engaged. Knees are lifted if I can, okay? From here, I'm gonna kick my bottom three times with my right leg. Kick it, one, two, three, press. Now the left, one, two, three. Now you can flex your foot as you kick. If that helps you engage your bottom more, and your hamstring more. Try not to let your body sink down as you kick. If hammies are tight, or sorry, quads are tight, this is kind of hard. Do what you can. If you need to open your knees wider, if you feel your knees, please open the knees wider. One, two, three, reach the legs long. I'm pushing the opposite top of the foot into the mat, Reach. A lot of work in the upper body, too. Yes, you're going to feel some shoulders. Feel your back. Pull your abs in. One more set. Right and left. And let's just slowly come all the way down. One hand on top of the other. Again, reaching your legs nice and long. I right now have my left hand down, right hand on top. Doesn't matter, we will probably switch in a second. Now watch your shoulders aren't shrugged, and then rest your head on your hands, okay? From your push down into the arms, and then lift up a little bit, so now you're looking straight down, but squeeze into the armpits. Tuck your tail. All we're gonna do is take the right arm and lift it up and set it down. And feel what that does when you do it, in your back, you might notice your pelvis might want to press down a little bit on that side to stabilize you, right? Because we're working just that right side. Watch your shoulder isn't creeping up. We're using the back body. Also trying to really anchor down in the pelvis, which again, not that easy to do. You're going to feel it all the way down into your back. One more. Switch your hands, press down again, pull your abs in. Now the left arm is gonna lift up. Again, notice the change. Anchor down the right arm into the mat too. So that one's still working. Watch your shoulders and creep up. Pull your abs in. Are you noticing your pelvis wanting to move around? I know mine wants to. I have to really 
focus on pushing down in my pelvis, pulling my abs in, maybe you don't get the arm all the way up. Three, two, one. And take a little break. <laughs> go ahead, hands down. Let's go ahead and lift up and round, 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 round back. Find a nice stretch in the back because it works a whole lot down your back, that last thing you're doing to try to stabilize our pelvis, right? We're getting those muscles fired up so we stay even. All right, coming back around. We're going on our backs about one more time. <laughs> Here we go, let's have the leg straight out this time actually to get on down, arms up. We're just slowly going down, the belly's pulling us back once again. All the way down and let's just find one more stretch. All right, got one more thing with the back of the body here. Okay, so bend the knees. So we are going into what's called a shoulder bridge or a bridge, right? Feet just slightly apart. Make sure your heels aren't too far away from you. Arms are pressed down. Exhale, tuck your tail by scooping the belly in. Slowly curl the hips all the way up. Engage the back of the leg. So we really want to squeeze our butt underneath us. Arms pressed. And now slowly roll down. We're just going to take a couple here first to prep because we do lift a leg up on this one. Exhale, tuck and lift. If you don't want to lift a leg, just keep your hips up and press the hips up instead. All right, next time we're holding up. Exhale, tuck and lift. Get the hips high, drop the ribs down, push the arms hard into the mat. From here, squeeze your both butt cheeks here. Right leg comes to tabletop. Stretch that leg, try to touch the ceiling. Keep your foot pointed if you can. Inhale, lower the leg. Exhale, flex and kick. Inhale down, exhale up. Stretch it long and lift. You're engaging through the left side with that right leg is working just as hard to try to keep the right hip up and lift. Inhale down, exhale, kick. Three, two, one. Hold the leg, flex the foot, pulse up. Push the right leg up, up, touch the ceiling, up. Squeeze the left butt, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Replace that foot. Hold it here if you can. Stay in the lift. Squeeze your cheeks, both of them. Left leg stretches up. Touch the ceiling. Inhale, lower down. Flex and kick. Down, exhale. Inhale, exhale up. Long leg. You don't have to go as big as I'm going. You can make it smaller because I don't want your pelvis moving around. Three, two, one, hold it, pulse, one, push it up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, replace that foot, hips up, hold, slowly, melting, all the way back down. Separate the feet again if you'd like, take the arms out. I like to do a little bull post type position and let the knees fall to one side. Again, arms can go where they feel best if you'd like to go out in a T or overhead and then over to the other side. Bring them on back. Go ahead, cross the right ankle over the left thigh and let's hug the left knee to your chest. Find your little figure four. You can rock around a little side to side if you want. Find that stretch into the right hip and extend the left leg up too if you want. And then go ahead and switch. So left ankle over. You can grab behind that thigh too. Extend it if you want. Finding that nice stretch. All right, this time, hug your knees in, and let's just rock up and down until we're all the way up. Oh, I promised open leg rocker. It's one of my nemesis sisters, <laughs> that exercise. But it's like rolling the ball, but the legs are out. So we're going to go for it. We're going to try it a couple times. All right, here we go. Grab the ankles. So it's the same kind of position we had earlier when we were rolling like a ball. 
But what I want you to do here, find your little scoop, find your hover, and let's find the right leg like you did before, and down. Then the left. But what I want you to do, if you can't hold the leg straight, grab underneath or even hold on like this. Just hold where it feels good if you can't reach up to the ankle, okay? So again, find the spot that works for you. Now the right one goes. Now I have to kind of tuck a little bit more so I can get my other one up. So now, Chest is up, arms are long, legs are straight, we are rolling back again. Inhale, exhale again, uh, rolling on the neck, here we go. Inhale, back, exhale, woo. Couple more, inhale, back, exhale, up, woo. Almost there, one more time. Inhale, you know this one's hard, and up, hold, legs come together. Bend the knees and stretch forward. Uh, it's kind of fun, but it's kind of scary all at the same time. But it's a good one. All right, we're gonna finish up with a quick little set of push-ups here. So come on around. All right, so coming up to standing, more of a traditional push-up. You can go to your knees at any moment, all right? I might need to myself. Here we go. Roll it on down. Walk out to your plank. Hands as wide as it feels comfortable. One push up only. Down up, hold. Hips up, walk it back. And roll it all the way up. We go out for two push ups now. Exhale it down. Walk it out. Two push ups. Down up, long neck. Squeeze your legs, it'll help you. Walk back. The more we can get the legs active and up, the better. Now we have three. If you need to set the knees down, please do so. Hold out here and we go down up one, two, three. Walk it back. We have two more sets of four and a five. Woo, we're building on them. Here we go. Roll it down. Walk it out. Got four. Down, up, one, two, three, four. Woo, look at that. Hang it all the way up. All right, here's five. Can we do it? Let's try it. All right, solid. One. Two, three, four, Ooh. five, hips up, walk it back, hang it down, shake it out, cuddle the knees, swing the hips if you need to, bend both knees, shake out everything, slowly coming all the way back up, shake it out a little bit, we did it. <sighs> nice work. Thank you for joining me today and have a great Thursday and I'll see you next Thursday at noon. Have a great day. Bye.